So, hello everyone. Uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. First of all, I would like to thank the organizing team for this opportunity. This is the first uh, you know, time I'm presenting in the wider audience. So, quickly uh, introduce myself. I'm Dinuji Loganathan, working as a RPA architect with around uh, 13 years of experience in the IT industry. And overall, uh, last six years, I have been focusing on the RPA. And uh, last uh, three years, especially, I'm uh, you know, specializing in the power platform automation capabilities. So, apart from my I contribute to the power automate community where I have reserved nearly 300 topics in the past year. I have been recognized as a super user for the last two sessions uh, seasons as well. Additionally, I share my RPA knowledge with the community through uh, LinkedIn post and YouTube channel. So if you're interested in the power automate RPA, feel free to scan this QR code and follow me on the LinkedIn. So let's quickly move into the agenda. So first we will talk about what is the current challenges we have without that, you know, uh, parallel flow. Then we will talk about that. What is the new future and how we can override the current challenges and all then followed by some demos and examples and, you know, uh, takeaways. So this is the one scenario, uh, you know, the user faced some issues on the, you know, last month and uh, the scenario is when the user is automating a website, uh, they faced some delayed pop ups. Okay, this is the not a kind of static pop up. Uh, it's a kind of random pop up. It will come in the between of the three to five minutes after the flow execution. So whenever the flow, uh, you know, started executing and the, some in the sudden it will automatically appear from, uh, you know, blocker, the automation bot, you know, crash the automation. So we, do, we don't have any existing action that will handle the dynamic uh, pop-up, the static pop-up we can handle utilizing different actions, for example, wait, uh, wait for the you know, element and different if conditions as well but dynamic is little challenging that's what uh, you know microsoft into the new future that we will talk about later so in the another scenario i will show you how exactly that uh, you know uh, blocker is there so this is the you know uh, invoice pro crm app i have developed uh, here i'm trying to uh, you know uh, transfer the data from the excel sheet to invoice pr pro crm uh, I will show that demo. Uh, oh, my browser also visible, right? Anyone can confirm, please. Yep, you're good to go. Yep. Yeah. So whenever uh, you know I create a bot and when it is interacting with this CRM app, for example, I'm just typing manually. Uh, suddenly that pop up will you know appear. So it doesn't uh, you know we don't know exactly when it will appear. For example, after entering this account ID or any specific location, we don't know. So that is where that complete, you know, block. It's a kind of blocker bot getting failed. OK, so I'm just entering some sample values and click the save account and I keep interacting with this application. Suddenly it, you know, the pop up appears here, even if bot try to interact with those text boxes, it is not able to, you know, uh, interact with those text boxes, right? So if I try to click on the save button, it is not saving. So it's a kind of blocker we have in the you know uh, in the in the invoice pro CRM app itself. So this is how uh, you know if you interact with manually the same I will show in the uh, desktop flow as well. Okay, so this is the input uh, Excel data I, I want to transfer to this invoice pro app. So I have created this bot for that. So first it will read the data from Excel and it will read all the data, including header, etc. Then it will launch the browser, you know, uh, the URL automate with dinu w3space.com. Then it will click on the some certain I you know uh, buttons, then it will feed all the information one by one in the loop. Okay. So I will run this flow. In the meanwhile, I will close this as well. It is launching the Excel. Now it is trying to launch the Edge browser. Then it will start feeding all the information one by one.
there should always be like some cinematic music for us while uh, desktop is running, right? It's like some. <laughs> <laughs> so about entering all the information in each text boxes and clicking on the button save account. So randomly that, uh, you know, uh, pop up will appear. So far now I have enabled uh, the parallel uh, flow. Sorry, just I will disable and show it again. Sorry, the launching Excel itself taking a little longer today. Oh, that's just a, a gift from the demo guys, right? We're, we're all good. <laughs> <laughs> So we can see uh, some pop up in next few seconds that will block the complete uh, execution of our parts. Okay, it shows some goal achievement, but still bot is trying to interact with all these uh, you know text boxes and try to click on the save button. It's now it's kind of flickering. Uh, so you know bot got failed in after some time. Okay. So this is the current challenge uh, we have in the Power Automate desktop uh, when you uh, you know uh, deal with in a dynamic pop-up. So last month you know Microsoft reduced uh, released the uh, you know uh, latest future you know how to uh, run the bot in the parallel. So in the Power Automate cloud flows, uh, we all know that you know. Uh, we can uh, distribute the workloads and we can uh, parallelly uh, progress everything. But when you talk about. So the body, you know, interacting with the system and other components is completely different, uh, you know, when we compare to the power automate cloud. OK, I will just close this and let's move to the. Uh, slide so you can see here, uh, so. Microsoft introduced uh, the you know the new toggle button the run desktop flow action to enable the parallel execution. So parent flow continues the uninterrupted while child flows pop ups. Okay, so whenever you dealing with the dynamic pop up, uh, you can enable you know disable this option. Uh, so we have uh, toggle button in the desktop flow. I just enable this. So I have created the another flow just to handle only the pop up. Okay. I will show how it look like. So here I have attached my instance, the running instance. It will just interact with only the you know uh, uh, pop up button, and it will go in the loop. So even in the future, it will come one more pop up. It will handle. Okay. So this is the another desktop flow I have created. The flow name is uh, you know invoice backend run. So I invoking that desktop flow here. Uh, So if you look at this, I am invoking that desktop flow. So whenever you you know disable this uh, toggle button, uh, it will run in the parallel. But if you want to uh, you know enable that uh, toggle button, your desktop flow will wait that invoke the desktop flow to complete. It in case your desktop flow have any uh, output variable, it will return. But when you deal with uh, you know the dynamic pop up and parallel execution, it will not return any output flows. Okay, let's see how it works right now. I will click save now. I enable this. So whenever the dynamic pop up appears, this flow will run in the parallel. So whenever that pop up is appear, it will click on the got it button. OK. I will. Close the existing instance. OK, all good. Uh, I will click run now. It is launching uh, the invoice pro CRM. 
and in the parallel a that flow also running and it is waiting for that you know uh, pop up window so whenever that pop up window is appears quickly it will close that uh, you know it will click that got it button so that it will not disturb the you know our bot execution see automatically it is handled so it automatically in the parallel it will run the one more flow to handle the only the pop up so remaining if you want to uh, you know run any parallel uh, it will not allow and even if you uh, run any other child flows in the parallel it will not return any output as well okay so we have to consider that as well in our mind let's move back to the uh, slide Okay, so it is support only the one parallel child flow per the parent flow. Okay, and uh, whenever you you know uh, run any child flows in the parallel, it will not return any output. All the input values are ignored in the parallel mode. So the overall takeaway is parallel execution is only max. You know we can leverage for only uh, dynamic pop-up related workflows blockers, and uh, it will handle only the one child flows. And it will not return any output uh, from the you know uh, disturb flow when you run in the parallel mode. Yeah, that's it. I want to cover on the today's session. Any questions? Uh, I'm happy to answer.